today on this channel, I have a $200 Toy USA Funko Pop mystery box. $200. And we're actually gonna do a little appetizer at Shumi Toy Store Mysterious Mystery Box. So what this one is, this is Toy USA, $200 guaranteed value of only 100 bucks. So you can lose half your money on this box. Hopefully I don't. Fingers crossed because, uh, but what's good though, <clears throat> the boxes where the guaranteed value is only like half of what you paid, those boxes have potential of some pretty big hits in them. Because in order for there to be big hits, some people have to lose a lot of money. For other people to get some big hits, it happens. I've lost a lot of money in the past. And I've had big hits in the past. It, overall, it evens out when it's all said and done. You just got to keep buying and having fun and only buy mystery boxes if you can afford to lose your money. Because this one, I could lose 100 bucks on this one box. We're going to start, though, with the appetizer, as we call it. So the Shumi Store Mysterious Box, as they call it, is pretty much you're buying a Common Funko Pop for $15 shipped. And some of these could have like a, a store exclusive in them, but what actually you're trying for is a... Uh, free set of Funko Pops because like 10% of the boxes will have a promo code in here to get an entire set of Funko Pops for totally free. Free shipping, everything. And I've won that I think three times now, but I've bought a bunch of these too. So the, the more you buy, the better your chances. But you can get a pop worth more than what you paid, but all you're guaranteed is just a common Funko Pop worth 10 bucks. That's all you're guaranteed. And here we go. Most of these come in the Shumi protector cases, so that's also nice. Bubble wrapped. If there is a promo code, it'll be on, on the front of the pop. I'll show you first. What do we got? Ah, uh, nope, no promo code. So this is the Secret Life of Pets 2 Illumination Presents Max with Cone. Never seen it. I'm not sure when this thing came out. Yep, that's it. I mean, you can just get out a common fungal pop. That's all you're guaranteed. I got a common. Uh, well, I got you know, like a nice .50 case with it. So, yeah. So that one, I lost money. Did not make a dime on that appetizer box. That's all. Fungal pops, it's all a gamble. So we're going to do this one. Let's do, let's do bottom side up. Because usually they have like the pops facing up. I keep this thing a little bit of a mystery, but this is 200 bucks. I don't remember what the hits were in this because I bought this thing about a while ago. And it's time to crack it open. Let's see what I got. $200. I think it's got like, what, four pops in it. Guaranteed value of only 100 bucks. Not much. Oh, it's double boxed. Cool. Double boxed. Oh, nice. <laughs> Peanuts in it. I open this thing up the correct way, upside down, so I don't have a peanut mess then. Go with this box. So that will be the bottom side up to kind of keep the mystery factor a little bit longer. Hopefully get out something like freaking awesome in this box. No guarantees though. No guarantees. All you're guaranteed is four Funko Pops and half your money back. Okay, try to keep this so nobody can see it. I can't see it. Camera can't see it. Tear back the bubble wrap. Okay, we have soft protector, soft protector, soft protector. They're all in soft protectors. I wonder if that's good or... That's not normal for Toy USA. Because usually their boxes, if it's turned our box... Your one hit will be like in a soft protector or a hard stack, and then the rest will be just like loose. Or if there's no hard stack, there'll be like two soft protectors, and then the rest are loose, no protectors. All four of these are in soft protectors. So I guess this might be a good sign that maybe this is a good box. I don't know which one to pull out either now, because they're all soft protectors. I'll just pull this one first. See what it is. The back says Vegeta. It is... Oh, that's that's nice. So that's actually signed by um, Christopher Sabat, the voice of Vegeta. It's not authenticated or anything, so there's no proof that it's actually real. 
but he signs a lot of stuff. He does lots of conventions that says, Ha, Chris Vegeta. Okay. Um, <clears throat> he signs at con. I think he charges like, what, 30 bucks to sign? 20 by 30 bucks. Yeah, like I said, this is not authenticated by any company. So the autograph won't really make it worth a whole lot more because you can't prove it's real. So hopefully that's not my big hit. Maybe this pop is worth something. The pop's a 2016 pop. Maybe this is actually... Maybe the pop's worth a little bit. I don't know. There you go. Next one. And pop protector. Back says Grandmaster. Oh, that's a nice one. Grandmaster. This is Thor Ragnarok. This is played by... Uh, what is it? Jeff Goldblum, I think, right? I think he played Grandmaster. And actually, I will keep this one because I wouldn't mind to get this autographed in the future by... Was it Jeff Gold Goldblum, right? I think... This is NYCC 2017 Fall Exclusive. This is a shared sticker. Probably Hot Topic, I bet. Okay, second one. Next one. Okay, I don't know which one to grab. Do this one. We have Captain Rex. Oh, nice. This one's actually just shot up in value like crazy. It just went up to like $100 on the PPG because uh, there is a... Instagram page I follow, uh, Serlet Pop or something like that. They actually post like trending pops. This one's trending right now at like 105, 110, 100 bucks, something like that. So this actually got up in value. So this actually is this is worth half the price of what my box costs. This is actually a pretty nice sitter here. This this Captain Rex. It's actually a pretty pretty nice pull. That's a hundred dollar pull right there. That's not bad. And the last one in the box, we have Mud Trooper. That one's, I think, a pretty much a common pop right there. Mud Trooper. So, now it's time. Let's see some value. Let's see how bad I did or how well I did. I think I probably got close to my money back, I bet. Okay, the first Funko Pop. Wow. Are you serious? Funko App says things worth $5. Is that true? Okay. Funko App has one worth 5 other one worth... 33 what's the difference i don't see any difference let me actually check poppriceguide.com because i think funko app has a glitch looks like because there's no way that 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 price is right once like it's listed twice at five dollars and 33 dollars. so yeah that is not correct all right on poppriceguide.com they actually listed at 33 dollars i that's actually a decent hit then that's actually not that's a nice hit that's actually that's worth 33 dollars so not a bad way to start. So I think I probably got my I probably got my money back, I bet it looks like. But Grandmaster is worth $25. So that's actually also not a bad pop. So the first two worth a total of $58 so far. So I think I'm doing okay at this point. The Vegeta Black is worth $37. It is signed by Christopher Christopher Sabbath, but like I said, it is not authenticated. You cannot prove authentication on this. Would it sell for a little bit more unauthenticated? Certainly would. Um, if it's worth 37, probably say maybe as high as like maybe like 50 bucks or so. If it's authenticated, you probably get, you know, 75 or 80 for it. 50 bucks. Because I mean it's not authenticated, it's not proven to be real. Captain Rex. Ooh, actually, it went up even more. Captain Rex is actually worth. $115, so that actually went up more in value. Grand total of all four of these pops on poppriceguide.com is $220. So I, I paid 200 bucks for this, and I got back 220. So I got back 10% more than what I paid. <clears throat> I'm gonna sell all these. Uh, so once I sell them, you know, you take off selling fees, then I pretty much, I broke even. I got $200 back after selling fees, so. I got my money back. So thankfully I didn't lose anything on this. And uh, actually this one, I probably won't sell at this time because this one keeps going up like crazy now. It was worth like 30 bucks for probably a year, like 30 bucks. In the past three, four months, the thing has just been shooting up in price very, very quickly. Last time I looked at it, it was worth 105. Cause actually I had three or four of these that I bought when they first came out cause I thought it might go up in value over time. I've been patient and it, and it did. And last time I looked them up, they were worth 105. Now I looked them up, they were worth 115. So it keeps going up in value. So yeah, I will not be getting rid of this pop this time because this one has not seen 
like the high yet. It's going to keep going up because of the popular show, The Clone Wars. So, yeah, pretty good box. I'm happy with it. And uh, I'll see you next time with some more mystery box on this channel. I'm out.